Hey guys, how's everyone? Today I have the new high quality Dell S25 22HG 240Hz gaming monitor. I bought it for $149. The actual price is around $200 to $249. So I saved a couple of bucks over there. It's basically a 24.5 inch flat panel and 1080p fast IPS LED monitor. So, without wasting any time, let's unbox it. How to set up the monitor. This is the stand of the monitor. This is the user manual, I think, yeah, the warranty, safety, regulatory information stuff. So we got one, two, three, and four cables. So yeah, that's it. And underneath this is the monitor. So these are the four cables that you get. This is the AC adapter. This is USB 3.2 upstream cable the HDMI 2.0 cable and the display port 1.2 cable so let me keep this aside we also got the base of the monitor looks premium and with the base it has uh, the screw so this is the screw with an easy to use latch so you simply fold up and turn that makes it easy to hold the stand so let's see what else we got inside the box so yeah this is the stem let's open it okay we got a tape over here too so yeah this is the stem, the stem has a hole for the cable management. We got the metal tabs at the top. So these metal tabs are used to snap at the back of the monitor and at the bottom where the screw on the base monitor connects. So let's see how does it connects. So this is the base we adjust and put it inside and push the screw inside and then we turn with the latch and then fold the latch and now these both are connected the only thing we have to place is the monitor so here is the monitor. Okay. First, let's connect. So let's connect the metal tabs. So you just push it gently inside. Then, did you hear the click sound? So the click sound indicates that Everything is set up now. We have to just plug in the AC adapter and start the monitor. So with this monitor, you get a three-sided ultra-thin bezel, a plastic body. It is 20 inches tall. You get a width of 21.87 inches. It has a depth of 7.89 inches. The most common feature that I think all the monitors should have is height adjustability and it weighs 8 pounds. It not only has height adjustability but it also swivels minus 45 to 45 degrees, it tilts minus 5 to 21 degrees and it pivots minus 90 to 90 degrees. It also has the anti-glare coating so the windows should not be a problem. So 
looking for the connections at the back we got one power connector two SDMI 2.0 ports one display 1.2 port USB 3.2 upstream and USB 3.2 downstream on the right we get two USB 3.2 downstream with a headphone jack so at the back we got five buttons for controlling the menu with top button being the main button and we also got the ventilation at the back just to get the airflow and nothing else so these are the options that you get inside the monitor so let's see them one by one first one is the game option where you can select the preset modes which is standard fps RPG, sports mode, game 1, 2, 3, comfort, warm, cool, or if you want, you can choose a custom color. So you can set uh, the RGB, CMY accordingly. So uh, if you want, this is how you increase or decrease. And once you are done, you can go back you can set the saturation offset everything next one is uh, the game enhance mode so if you want to change the frame rate that's uh, using this option the timer display alignment you get AMD FreeSync Premium. If you want, you can enable or disable it. The response time, the dark stabilizer, you can go up to three levels. And there is a reset. So if you want to get it to default, you have to reset the game option. Next one is the brightness. So it is pretty much self-explanatory. Next one is the input source. If you want to select HDMI 1, 2 or auto select, it's on you. Display, if you want to resize, you can change the aspect ratio. If you want to change the format of the color, you can do that too. Sharpness, the audio, since this monitor doesn't have a speaker, so you have to connect the headphone jack to listen. Menu, so you can select the type of language you want. You get English, Spanish, Dutch, French, Portuguese, I think Chinese and so on. Transparency. You can select the level of transparency you want. The timer. If you want to set the timer, you can set it accordingly. Then you get a personalized option if you want to set it um, set a shortcut. So you can do that too for shortcut. Like you get five buttons at the back, so you can keep a shortcut. The LED button. You can choose what it does. The USB you get USB also. The down light. This is uh, the blue LED light that you get under the monitor. And these are the pretty common options that you get in all monitors. So these are the options. It has 240 Hz frame rate and 1 millisecond gray to gray response time. So this is a full HD gaming monitor. So that means it has 1920 by 1080 pixel. And uh, since it has a 240Hz refresh rate, I think it is a good option for the gaming guys over there. I think if you don't have a 4K as a priority, you can easily consider this option. And uh, it is also very cheap. The design looks uh, cool, like a premium build, but the quality is uh, kind of low key but you cannot get 
more than this in this price. So I think it's pretty much good deal if you don't have 4K as uh, a priority. So that's it for the video. If you like my video, please hit the like button. And if you have any doubts, please, please write it in the comment section and please subscribe. Thank you.